family, welcome back to another episode of Working On It. Uh, me and Daryl are taking over again. Yeah, you know, you announced me on on the gram. And oh, just, it's official. Now I'm just taking over. Yeah, Instagram official, yeah. dude. The picture's fantastic. Get out of here, Megan. I'm I'm coming in. No, <laughs> Megan is so busy. She yeah. might pop in at the end. Um, but she's got a lot going on. I don't know if you guys saw, but she announced a tour. She announced yep. an album. Yeah. Album, the single, songs out, tour, um, many more things to come, dude. She's a busy, busy, busy mama. Uh, if you notice a hum in the background, we're just that's just just living through construction, guys. Right. Yeah, that's just what good. we do. It's all, all good. good. Um, yeah, tour, uh, different kind of tour for me personally. Everyone keeps hitting me up like, Ryan, yeah, what little are you surprise. Gonna do? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna fi- I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, I got Justin Crusoe coming over. He's gonna teach me how to DJ. That's my guy. Um, if you don't know, we got a song out called Oh No that we we worked on together. And um he's gonna get, he's gonna teach me how to DJ. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see what that is like. Um and, and I'm gonna decide how advanced I wanna be with the whole DJ thing. Cause I mean, realistically, you could go up there, you can kind of pretend, right? Let's be real. I don't know. I, I don't think, know. I think it's an option. Are you uh are you vlogging the experience? Well, I was going to also get into IRL streaming on Twitch. This is my hoodie, Trainer TV. Check it out. Sick. Um, I would like to stream my shows when I do like the now, When the you say opening. IRL streaming, explain In real life. for the class. No, I know what IRL means. Right. But what is that like? I'm just not sitting at my computer. I'm out. I'm outside. Oh, okay. So people, I mean, a lot of people travel to like Japan. Yeah. That's how it kind of started. Like people would just go out into the world and they have a backpack with the device and they could stream and they just record their life. Like they're going out to restaurants, they're interacting with people. So it's like Truman Show, but just like IRL. Yeah, but this would just be kind of me doing my thing on stage, and I'd love to like run around the crowd and like <laughs> you're on Twitch. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for subscribing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Subscribe, yeah. subscribe. Um, potentially. Yeah, we'll see. That's awesome. But yeah, dude, just hype guy. Get everybody ready for the show, you know. And I think it's always tough when you go to a concert and your your artist that you're trying to see doesn't play the song that you love. Maybe it's a deep cut, you know, but they're focused on the newer album. They're focused on the hits. And mm. you're like, Oh, I wish they would just do this one song. I'm going to go through a bunch of M M train. The, dis- the discography. Yeah. 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 Uh, the, the, you know, the great songs that she just, she, when you have too many hits, this is the curse, dude. You, you just can't do them all. You can't do it. You can't, you so, can't fit it all into one yeah. show. So yeah. we'll have a dance party before the show begins. I think it's going to, it's gonna work out. It's gonna be okay. You ever say yes to something without thinking about like the consequences? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, but it it, it is. Oh, exciting. it's gonna be fun though, dude. Yeah. I'm actually I, when at the very beginning, like when we first started talking about tour, I think Riley was still so young that I was like, oh man, this is gonna be tough. But now he's just he loves he loves traveling so much. He loves vehicles so much. <laughs> yeah, it's like all yeah, his favorite just, like, things are just looking out the up car window. Thing. He's like. There's a garbage truck. There's a school bus. Like, oh, he's just he was pumped. so pumped about that school yeah. bus. Uh, yeah. So now I'm I'm really excited. I think it's gonna be really fun, and I'm so glad that you're coming. And I think we're gonna make a lot of great uh, family memories yeah. on this trip. <laughs> For sure, it's gonna be so funny. And I know I'm done, like technically filming and photography and all that, but I'm gonna have a little camera on me. I gotta capture some of these. Like I'll get some home vids on the bus and whatnot, dude. Like yeah. with my little pocket cam. Just it's gonna be so funny, dude. Oh, Barry's gonna be walking by that time. Nuts. It's gonna be, it's gonna be wild. Crazy. Um, you just did something very interesting. Yeah. Speaking about being a dad, I just did a, <laughs> I just did a little psychic reading. It was, uh, it was more a medium. Megan talked about this a couple weeks ago on the podcast. Yeah. How do you, what, what do you define this woman as? A psychic medium or I, a? Yeah, I think she's a psychic medium. Okay. She's definitely a medium because she talked to the the other side. Right. Uh, and, the, and spirits. Um, but then she also just had, like, the spirits had words of wisdom for me and, like, some suggestions for me. And then she asked me if I had questions. Um, but, yeah, uh, she off the bat was just, like, like knew, n- like, knew my story. Knew that I had a dad who left when I was very young and, uh, like, even, like, started spelling out his name. And I was like, what the hell? Like, this is nuts. Um, my my papa, who who passed away when I was 13, 
she immediately brought him up and said there's a grandfather figure with a mustache. And that was like, that was his thing. He had a mustache, like prominent mustache. And, um, and she said that he was with the boys before we were like, he was hanging out with them. And then she brought up like this thing that I do with Riley. Like we go under the blanket and we just like joke around and we laugh. And, uh, she like brought that up, but she said like, I'm, I'm Mr. Mom right now. And, um, that, that the boys are like healing me and my childhood, like experience and traumas and, you know, things that happen, like the boys are, are healing me. And I totally feel that way. So she was like, just, you know, keep on doing your dad thing. And, um, and she said like, I'm going to. Uh, do a lot of work behind the scenes, a lot of producing, some directing, um, not to give up on that, on the acting stuff, but just not to like, she, she called me out where she said, I'm the type of person who starts reading the book, but just like goes to the end and is like, what's going to happen. Mm. So right now, and you know, in, in this lifetime, I'm like trying to be, I was doing that reading to go like, just tell me like, what, what am I doing here? You know, what's my purpose? And she's like, you got to kind of chill on that. Like, you're a dad. That's your purpose. And your other purpose, you'll learn through the kids. The kids are going to are gonna teach you that other purpose you have. But you got to stop trying to skip ahead to the end to figure it out. Wow. Be present. Yeah. So it was, it was really cool, and I'm really glad I did it. And I think you should do it if you want. All right, man. If you want. I mean, I will say I do – I see – your healing process all the time. We went to soccer pra- uh, practice yesterday. Yeah. And every time Riley scores a goal or just like kicks the We're ball, happy. Yeah. runs over to dada, dada. And then yeah. you pick him up. Yeah. It was so awesome. Dude, dude. it was so <laughs> just, fun. We're celebrating, dude. I kicked the ball. <laughs> just three years old yeah. soccer practice, man. Oh, Riley and soccer. Yeah. That was awesome. So good. But he, yeah. he runs to you after every goal. He's yeah. like, here we go. Dada. My best friend. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the other thing she said. She's like, well, I'm getting emotional because you never got to say this. But she's like, I think all your kids are going to grow up to say that their dad was their best friend. And I was like, oh, man. My heart. I just, I'm afraid of what this woman's going to say to me, dude. That's just, that's. Like I was also too many scared, things. but, you know, I don't know. I. She said, I told you this before the podcast. She said that the kids are really going to be in good shape because we got rid of the alcoholism around them. And I... Thank you for that. You did it. You inspired me to do it. I think it was you. I mean, we all kind of, you and Megan definitely inspired me to sober up. You you both were like, this is out of control. And I was like, no. And then I, you know, woke up on the bathroom floor and I was like, ooh, this is out of control. So that. (laughs) But you're, but you've, you know, you stuck with it. It's day by day. You've done it every single day. Yeah. And, and you help me every day. Um, Yeah. And you really helped me with that mushroom thing. (laughs) Just talking about that out loud, I was like, ooh. It's funny because someone else, and then another person came up to me with the same dilemma. Really? Like, really? hey, like like a newly sober person, like, hey, like I still have these like mushrooms. What do I do with these? Like, get rid of them? Yeah. Flush them? And they're, they're like, oh, yeah. Okay. And it's funny. I didn't even tell my sponsor this. Should I tell my sponsor? I go, yeah. They'll laugh and they'll say, get rid of them. Like, it's so funny. Yeah, you because you, your brain romanticizes. Like, these aren't that bad. These are fine, which I, I get. And they probably, they could be fine. But nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that was that was the old me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to creep into the new me. No, right. no, sir. Nah, you're good. You're no, just sir. you're good, man. You got mushrooms every day. Children are mushrooms. Happiness, <laughs> just ha- pure happiness. Yes, present, being present. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll, I'll think about it. I think mean, about she's it. tough to book, dude. It's tough. She I don't know. is. So that's what I mean. If you say yes, you'll you'll forget, and then it'll just come up, and then you just decide on the day by doing okay. this or not. Oscars. What do you got for me? All I really, I mean, poor, poor things, right? Emma yeah. Stone. Yeah. Crushed. Deserved it. Yeah. That, she think... was amazing. Cause we forgot to talk about poor things last week. Yeah. And we had just, we seen all it. watched it. We loved it. Um, yeah. Her Bella Baxter character. So different than anything she's ever done, but also like anything that I've ever seen before, you know, it's like, is she a child? Is she an adult? Well, it's kind of weird. Cause she's doing all that stuff and you're like, well, that's a, child it is a there. it is a it is a funky but maybe movie, is it the metaphor sure. just like men Don't, just want women to be dumb and horny is that kind of what the metaphor was 
I, I I believe that it's probably layered. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe it's it like was men like men are disgusting pigs that just men want. are disgusting pigs. <laughs> You know, don't forget, like, your innocence. Like, you know, it was, like, her discovery of things was so... True. Intriguing. Yeah. And, like, that was kind of what was so, I think, attractive about her to the, all the guys is, like, her discovery of, like, new things. Right. You know, everyone else is so bored and they're, you know... And anytime she saw anything new... Yeah, she wanted to learn about the world. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, Oscars, you know, honestly, didn't watch them. Just okay. watch it on TikTok. I just know. watch the clips on That's TikTok. That's kind of the problem with me and TikTok as well is I just go, well, I'll just see the highlights on TikTok. So I'm missing the entire program because be, I know that the highlights will be on TikTok. To be honest, I honest, I didn't know how to watch them. Was it on the Hulu? Us? Like, where was it? I mean, we have YouTube TV. We could definitely watch. It's still a major, it's major cable. Yeah, but we don't have major cable anymore. We have YouTube TV. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. We could definitely watch it. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy. You should have supported, man. I'm, I'm happy Robert Downey Jr. won. Yeah. Because he deserved to win. Right. Um, his speech was awesome. Um, and then and the other thing, too, is I didn't really see most of the movies. Like I know, the two movies watch, that, that won for writing, didn't, didn't see them. Have to watch those. But uh, Oppenheimer, clean sweep, dude. I mean, yeah. Kind of, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Yeah. It, well, yeah. I want to watch it again. Do you? I do, I do, I do. Okay. I do. I fucked up, man. When I go to the movie Oh, you theater, fell asleep. I, well, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I know you were set I, up to fall asleep because I, of the sugar crash. Just let me explain myself. Okay. okay. It was like maybe maybe five, ten minutes. It was when they really dove into the quantum physics and they were like, it was, <laughs> there was a lot of information. I, I'm just not uh, the most intelligent with that kind of stuff. And it, it kind of just hit me in a, in a specific way. I, when I go to the movie theater, I get a big bucket of popcorn. I get peanut M&M's. I layer that thing with butter and I mix the peanut M and M's in the popcorn. I get a large, whatever they got, some sort of diet soda. Either I think there was a Pepsi, Pepsi Max. I think got a large one of those. I indulge in all of that at once, and then once that hit, I go, "Ooh, I'm getting a little sleepy here." I go to the bar to get a Red Bull because they didn't have them there, and they didn't have sugar-free Red Bull, so it was just a sugar Red Bull. So now there's probably 500 grams of sugar in my body. And instead of the rebel waking me up, I think all the sugar hit, it was like, spiked my uh, insulin, and uh. then I just crashed, crashed. Um, so I knocked out for like a little bit, man. And I'm not proud. And I, I, it's the movie's a masterpiece. Obviously, it won every single award. And you know, it's for someone to try and get into acting and be like, yes, yeah, I, <laughs> I fell asleep just for a moment's time. Not the best look, and I, I get that, but. This is what happens when I go to the movie theaters. I, I need to chill out on the indulgement of this of the snacks, but it's tough. It's tough. I just love popcorn. The popcorn. <laughs> I love the popcorn. popcorn's good. Um, yeah, and also the thirty minutes of trailers. I think that's you know that's when you were indulging during the trailers. Yeah, and the movie started. And the movie's, it was like, by oh. the time the movie starts, everything's gone. The popcorn's gone. The peanut yeah. are gone. The soda is in my body as well, yeah. and so then it all hits at once. What are you going to do? And you were like, oh, your brain was like, no, math. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I got to sleep. I think I have number anxiety. Dude. Math I freaked class. out. I freaked out. Um, but yeah, Emma Stone, just I'm a huge fan between yeah. that because I loved her in that show with Nathan Fielder. Oh, the man. Curse. The curse. She was so good. Phenomenal. So she is just on a. Yeah, I don't know what. And she's... I loved her in Maniac with uh, Jonah Hill. Yeah. Like, that like I think that's when I was first was like, oh, shit, I've been sleeping on emma stone she's a talent to be um i don't even know what i'm reckoning with yeah she's sure. a tour de force yes yep. yeah i got something you. like that i got all Good the words looks. but yeah all right cool still want bradley cooper to win something you know i loved maestro me bro. too he's getting so much hate on the internet man no he was awesome he was great dude the guy just works really hard and he likes to spend a lot of why can't someone spend a lot of time on a project they're working on what's the big deal why do you have to Shit everything out all at once. They're why, calling. Why can't you do six years on something? They're calling Bradley Cooper the new DiCaprio because DiCaprio was nominated like so many times oh. and never won. So now Bradley Cooper's, you know, it's not a bad thing to be called. He's just the new DiCaprio. That's all. Okay. He'll win his. Because I thought he was so fucking good. Me too. In Maestro, dude. Just. But he wrote it, directed it. He did yeah. everything. Yeah, he did everything. That's that's what trips me up as well. And you kind of forget when you're watching it because you're just like, oh, this. This is just the guy. This is Leonard Bernstein, bro. I don't even know what I'm 
witnessing right now. And I just wanted to smoke a cigarette so bad after that <laughs> yeah. movie, dude. I watched that movie and I'm just like, oh. I need to smoke a cigarette, dude. The TikTok you sent me of the yeah. one minute maestro. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> smoke, 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 conduct. Smoke, <laughs> smoke, smoke, conduct. But yeah, dude, it's movies like that. And once upon a time in Hollywood, they're just ripping cigs oh, yeah. the whole time. And I'm like, God, I want one. But it's poison. It's not good for you. No, can't do it. <laughs> But they get me. Hollywood gets me every time, dude. I just want to do bad things. When I see it on screen, I'm like, well, they make it look so cool. That guy lived a long life ripping heaters all day long. They From made the him? minute he wakes up, yeah. he starts a phone call. He's like, oh, hold, hold on, on a one second. second. Yeah. Let me wake up. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Hello. Some, Good morning. fresh air in my lungs real quick. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's move on to Love, Love is Blind. Is blind. Yeah. Um, you said underwhelming. I was underwhelmed, dude, because- What did you and expect? Now I'm see- I expected to get the information I wanted uh, ab- about Jimmy and Chelsea, okay? And now I'm seeing it. She just did a podcast. Oh. Now I'm seeing the real thing. Oh, what's she saying? She's saying what they didn't show is the guy was going out all the time and he, he was always hanging out with, with his girlfriends. Or he was like, I'm just going to go sleep at my place. I hope that's okay. He goes there. He's FaceTiming her from the pillow like, oh, I'm just so tired. I'm, I'm going to, yeah, this is what I'm doing. Just wanted to say night. And then he butt dialed her later that evening and no. she can hear everybody over no. just pre-gaming before they go out. Uh, He's just like, can't, he couldn't stop hanging out with his girlfriends. That was the first red flag. I mean, what's going on here? And he said on the reunion, well, I just can't get emotional with my bro. Get better bros. If you can't cry with your bros, the amount of times I've cried to my friends. Yeah. And my friends have cried to me. Yeah. Those are my real friends for life. You can cry, cry with your bros, dude. Don't don't give me this. Oh, you can't get emotional with your boys. Yes. No, no. It's yes, 2024. You yes, you can. That's being a man, being emotional with your bros. I heard your bro being emotional with you over the phone the other week. That's right. People call me for help constantly, dude. And you helped him out. Now he's better. Yeah. Um. Oh, man, that's crazy. Well, you know, I just, Jimmy, I didn't understand why everyone was so hung up on Jimmy in the first place, but. It's that voice. It's I a guess. very deep voice. Yeah. You go, that guy's packing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That guy's back. And then he was on the fucking Tonight Show. Did you see that? No. Last night, bro. No. Yeah. Doing the whole thing wow. where uh, they replayed the thing where he was just like, well, you stormed out after 10 minutes. And then it was like a quick- That conference. was hilarious. Yeah. That was and he really played, good. And he played on that. So kind of cool on his part. He's having fun with it. He's having a good time. Well, but see, this is the problem is like they keep like- fantasizing this like if you're on love is blind you're gonna be on the tonight show right, right and then right, you right. have all these other people like trevor who goes on there with a girlfriend yeah yeah texting his girlfriend i love you so much just to be on a tv show just plotting and scheming just trying yeah. to be on tv not not the best you we, i don't know how well you also see um i think her name is who's the girl with kwame chelsea too is that her name yeah she is now uh she, she's she does cast. casting yeah yes which might help you think that'll help the process you think I she'll be know. able to find like okay you're really trying to find love i don't know because i thought she was only on the show to be on tv yeah but they're still married i think she's good i no, she i i always saw her i was like she's really she wants a husband yes now she wants a husband but i think the husband that she picked just wanted to be on tv there's st- because uh-huh. he was the one who was into micah remember yeah but then it was the whole and he and Michael were flirting the whole time. Yeah. He well, you bailed get little, on. You get a little boozy at the pool party. Things are going to happen. I don't know, man. Things this, are going to happen. This show is nuts, but I can't stop watching it. I know. It's, I, it's, it's so good. Sarah Ann and Jeremy just. Crazy, dude. Mean. They just seem mean. Yeah. It's just a lot of glitter. That's what I picked up from that. Just a lot of glitter. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. Didn't see it. No, just kidding. That was a lot of glitter. <laughs> just yeah. dipped in just, glitter. Yeah. She looked like a pixie. Um, and, and then everything Jeremy just denied. No, well, I didn't do that. He goes, you know, he goes, he goes, well, I don't recall that. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't remember saying things. that, but if you said that I said that, then like, I guess I'm sorry. Absurd, man. Come on. But it, I don't know. Overall, underwhelming. I will say though, say what you want about the man, Clay, right? He cried, he cried. He was crying and explaining. I have. 
been in therapy because of this show and I've realized a lot about myself and what I need to work on. So I believe he is taking the steps to make himself a better man, which yeah. I was proud of him for doing that, dude. It takes a lot. He's crying on TV and crying in front of everybody, dude. Like that's, it takes a real man to do that. I feel, I, I, yeah. I mean, he could be playing me, you know, I just, could I don't be think he's playing drinking I, that, the clay, you know? <laughs> the, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, I just I I think that he he also kind of wanted to be on TV and then and then I think he kind of got like into it for real. Yeah. And then Probably I think he freaked got, him out. And then he got scared. Yeah. And then also he, you know, he lost AD. Yeah. And then AD's going out with that other dude. She went out like twice with him. But the, I know, but Clay did crazy. not look happy about that. I mean, I just who who's going to be happy about that? That guy was pretty fucking all of America is on my back right now. <laughs> I'm like Superman. The guy thought he was Superman. Yeah. All right. Know. But yeah, great show. Great show. Give Can't wait another, for season seven. Season now, dude. Yeah. I think they're in Minnesota. Something, oh, really? Yeah, something random. They're and explain it. to me this perfect match show. So perfect match is when you don't yeah, get, get involved on Love is Blind. You just go straight to perfect match, which is also yeah, hosted but by Nick Lachey. Be- yeah, it doesn't have to be Love is Blind. It's like a bunch of the reality shows mixed together. So they get they get all the the like kind of popular cast members from each show and throw them on one little island on vacation mm. and they go, okay, match up. And the only way you stay on that uh, island is if you're in a match. So some people will just match up with someone and just kind of weasel their way into another relationship, dude. It was honestly a phenomenal show. I watched the <laughs> first season. I was, I got sucked in, dude. Uh, and then I was just like, what are these other shows, dude? There's just so many of these datings, like too hot to handle. There's a lot of action, man. <laughs> There's so much. There's so much. All right. I got to check out Perfect But that's, action. yeah, like, I don't know. I want, I do want to see a cast of Love is Blind that's like really trying to find love for real. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, a couple voicemails here. We got to, we actually have a bunch that we could go through. Cerebral is here to help you achieve your mental wellness goals with professional therapy and medication management support 100% online. You'll experience the all-new Cerebral way and an innovative approach to mental wellness designed around you. You'll get a personalized treatment plan from a therapist, prescriber, or both in a safe and judgment-free space. Yeah, I mean, you guys know we're all huge fans of therapy. You got to have someone you, you can talk to that's you know, unbiased, separate from the family, your friends, you need that one-on-one time, lay it all out, and they help big time. It's the best. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of therapy. I go every Wednesday. I don't miss it. I love it so much. And we all could use a little support sometimes, you know, especially when it comes to making sure we're taking care of ourselves. And I think prioritizing our mental health is really, really important. And therapy is kind of the best. So it's the most direct way to make sure that uh, that's actually, that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not kind of, Daryl. It, it is. is the best. It's it exactly is. exactly what we're doing. Yeah. So to get started on your path toward better mental health, Cerebral is giving our listeners 15% off their first month of online therapy, medication, or both. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Insane. Get started at Cerebral.com slash podcast and use code working on it to make 2024 your best year yet. That's Cerebral, C-E-R-E-B-R-A-L dot com slash podcast and use code working on it. Offer only valid on monthly plans. Other exclusions may apply. See site for details. Working on a hotline, 661-491-4363. Give us a call. Uh, Tell us what you're working on. Ask us questions, whatever you want to do. And, you know, around like a minute, two minutes, (laughs) you know? All right, here we go. Dude, Ryan, my name is Grant. I'm trying to love looking, man. Uh, thank you for flying with Ryan. It's so good. I just want, you just got to get on a track, man. You just, uh, you got to get on a track and go crazy and be like, nobody's better than anyone. Nobody's better than anyone. Anyone's better than nobody. I got the hook at the home money. Just go crazy on a track, man. I need that. You need that. The world needs that, man. Some advice. Uh, also, <laughs> hi, Megan and Daryl or whatever. <laughs> so is he saying that the world... 
<laughs> needs your advice or he's just giving you some advice that the world needs a track I, I from don't know but i just ryan nobody's better than anyone anyone better than nobody i mean like that what he just spit there was top tier that was good i thought it was fire that's grant thanks for calling hey, in grant uh dude i've been dying to get j train in the booth and like cook something up bro i'm like j train just let me cook let me get in there let's whip something up jaybird music come on man Let's make a track. Just one song would be so funny for the tour. Just just one. Just to have it. Just to have it. Just to play. Just to play it. Yeah. I don't have to perform it. Just going to run it. I want it. Let's just call one, him. dude. Let's get J-Train I'm working. thinking like, you know, and I'm like, dude, we could dive in. I could dive into J-Train's like EDM world. Mm -hmm. I'm about it, dude. He's just, J-Bird just, I don't know, man. Doesn't like hanging out with me anymore. Guy's all wifed up. <laughs> <laughs> you changed, J-Bird. You got all engaged and you just changed. Oh, dude, I will say, though, he hooked it up because he did actually want to hang out the other night. We went to see Tim Dillon. Oh, yeah. Tim Dillon at the comedy store. The man is is at the top of his game. He, I laughed the entire, I don't even know how long he was up there. It was surreal, a surreal experience. I haven't laughed like that in a very long time. His Whatever he's working on, his next special is going to, be like one of the greatest specials of all time dude it just hit after hit after hit after hit everything he was talking about gold i just want just tim dylan is my favorite comedian right now by far easy hands down what what were you gonna say about j train oh that i was great oh, he, he hooked he, up the comedy yeah show. he goes hey gotcha. let's, he i just saw tim dylan's gonna be at the comedy store let's go and he got the tickets he made it all happen that's nice very nice of him so he he does like to hang out sometimes i guess just probably not in the studio but he's going to be bored, dude. Like, what is he going to be up to? I don't know. Yeah. I think he would. Did you ask him yet? Jokingly. Maybe I just hit him up. Yeah. Maybe he'd be like, dude, let me give you $500 a day. <laughs> and try and knock it out in like two, right? But you could just do it without the whole money part and just be like, hey. I know, but maybe there's no incentive. <laughs> I think he'd do it. Maybe just Mom, say, hey, dude, for my sober birthday, yeah. I would like a track. <laughs> We got to we got to do it for Grant, man. All right, thank you for calling in. Here's another one, Kelsey Kels. Let me get it to the beginning here. Hey guys, it's Kelsey, Kelsey Kels. I hope you're having an amazing day. So, I have a question that starts with uh Daryl and it but also applies to all three of you guys. Um so Daryl, you've done both live action acting and also voice acting um so super random fact there are two full-size uh framed polar express posters in my parents house uh it's our favorite uh what differences do you see and um and have experienced having done both acting modalities um and is there one that you prefer to do over the other uh, Megan, you've done live action uh, acting, like in How I Met Your Father, and voice acting as well. Do you prefer one over the other? Um, and then, Ryan, you're doing acting classes and want to pursue acting. Would all three of you want to do more of live action acting or voice acting in the future? Um, I know that we in the Twitch chat have said that uh, Ryan would be really good at voice acting for a video game. Um, I think there's just a lot of different types of acting, and so I'm curious um, which modalities you prefer um, and what you like about them. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys soon. Love you. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, Kelsey. Sorry, I forgot that she asked Megan a question, too, and she's not here, but well, I can answer it for her. <laughs> what is she like? What is she like? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I think we both like to say, like, we like it all, you know? Yeah um voiceover acting you don't really have to get all dressed up and you know into hair and makeup and i did a lot of my voiceover acting since i knew you guys like in my gym clothes yeah um when but, you do voice acting do you do you like move around and shit like i've seen clips of uh some people doing it right and they're really oh yeah really i gotta involved. i gotta stand up a lot of the people i work with they just sit down and it's so impressive that because they can like sound like they're running and stuff like that just by wow. like sitting down. I knew this one guy who was just like playing games on his phone the whole time and being like, oh, yeah, la, 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 la. and then, you know, kept playing games. Um, I got to stand up so I can get my energy up. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I move around all the time. 
Um, yeah, I like them both. I like them both. I don't think I like one more than the other. They're just um, they're just two different days. But I'm just sitting here like just had a crazy moment remembering years ago when we were sitting out at our old house in the backyard and you were just it was just the two of us and you were like man Megan should do a podcast like she's got to do a podcast like I could help her do a podcast and now we're just sitting here listening to voicemails and Kelsey Kels is calling in and talking about your twitch chat and talking about how great you are and and it's unfortunately just, i was drinking a lot awesome. then and no one was really listening to me until until tommy was like you should do a podcast and then it was the greatest idea ever but <laughs> at first it was yeah but look how far just we've a come. dream this is awesome but anyway. yeah really we've come a long way but that yeah i just nice. like to act kelsey uh, any acting but cool polar express posters i, I would love <laughs> to see what that looks like two two of them that's a lot <laughs> i don't even have one um uh, i don't know how I get into it, but voice acting for a video game would be the dream. Unfortunately, though, AI might be taking over that world, dude. It's uh, I, I I'm on that backstage uh, website to yeah. get jobs, and I saw an advertisement on there like looking for someone to voice act, but we're just using your voice to help the AI do the voice yeah it wasn't until like train the ai yes so they're they're just listening to people talk and i don't know how much time it takes for that i wonder how much they pay for that like how much does someone get paid to train the ai probably a few hundred bucks probably nothing like something wild very very low and then yeah then the ai just takes over the rest um but yeah, I've heard people mention like we're going to eventually just be paying for like when you buy organic food at the grocery store, you're going to be paying for organic media. So this was made by humans and performed by humans. Oh, and then this, this, that's cool. this is cheaper, but it's made by AI. Mm. So go with whatever you want. Yeah, I'm seeing uh, like on my TikToks, it's saying like, you know, the new generation want original content. No more sequels. So we got to come up with something original, you know? Hell yeah. But I could see us all doing our own cartoon show one day. Yeah. You know, family. Awesome. Family cartoon show. Yes. I mean, Riley's voice is incredible. Yeah. He would have a blast. Yeah. He already has a blast. Like, I love he, when, uh, was it Trey Parker? Oh, yeah. When he has his, his kid. kids. Yeah. yeah. In South Park. Yeah. It's gold. Thank you, Kelsey. Kelsey Kels. Oh, you know what? We'll play this because it's just you and me. And this is a, it's a pretty long voicemail, but it's, uh, I think it's important for the people to to hear, and I get a nice shout out. This is actually I'm being very selfish in this moment here, but it's a lovely shout out to me. Let's do it. Uh, working on a hotline six six one four nine one four three six three. Next caller. Hello, Megan, Daryl, and Ryle. I am going to try this again. <laughs> Wait, did I just say Ryle? That's funny. Um. <laughs> anyways, Megan, Daryl, and Ryan. I just wanted to try again and um, just kind of say something. So basically, this kind of has to do with Ryan, actually, because I have been watching this podcast ever since it came out. I'm sure you can guess why. I'm a huge fan of the Megan Trainer family, and I love all the trainers. And so when the episode first the episodes first started airing, I was the same way as Ryan. I had a lot of mental health problems not related to drinking but I have like major social anxiety disorder and like it is actually and then like I overthink a lot in my brain it's seriously terrible I'm very self-critical of myself anyways the point is when Ryan I remember when Ryan was like convinced that he did not need therapy at first I was like yeah that's right we're together in this we're so much better than those people who are at therapy we can get through this like we know that we have a problem but that's actually not true we can't fix it ourselves we need someone to help us through that and so when ryan finally broke down and was like guess what guys i'm going to therapy after all i felt like i was cheated i was like no bro we were supposed to stick together on this you can't leave me now i'm the only one on the planet I'm the only one on the planet who hasn't gone to therapy. But fast forward, here I am. I broke down. 
I'm in college. I'm a sophomore. I told my parents, like, I might benefit from therapy to help manage my social anxiety. And I recently actually started a step, another therapist because the first one was great, but she did not have experience working with college students. And it was hard to connect with her, but the new one I have is amazing. It's so convenient. We meet on Zoom every week. And I just have to say thank you, Ryan, because that was honestly a wake-up call for me. I was like, well, if he's doing it, because he never said, he promised he was never going to do it. And I guess I have to do it. Anyways, I love you guys. Sorry this is so long. But if you happen to hear this, I just wanted to say that, like, I am proud of all of you guys because – I don't know. Life, you know, just can't be easy. But, like, seriously. Okay, goodbye. Proud of you, whatever your name is. Yeah, I don't think she left her name. Ah, but but that's awesome. That's not selfish at all, Ryan. That's that's fucking dope. Yeah. You help someone. Yeah. um, It's... That's a great voicemail. Um, Yeah, when Dr. Drew told me brains heal brains, Mm. I was like, oh, shit. You're right. I need I need another brain to help help me out here. Um and then after that finally got into and I remember my therapist was like you got to just go to AA. Yeah. And I was like, "Nah, dude. I don't fucking need to go to AA." Uh <laughs> and now I'm very much in AA and when my sponsor told me and you could think about this with your therapist too. It's like, you know, humans getting together. It's like a football team. You get in the huddle talk about your shit game plan for the day break and take those tools out into the real world and um to help you succeed i like that analogy yeah and so you you do that with your therapist every week even if it's on zoom you're just huddling up what do we got to do okay let's go practice these life tools yeah um yeah i i i'm i was a stubborn boy i'm still stubborn in other ways we we'll figure those out too eventually but um, yeah, I think when you get caught up in your own shit, and I've learned throughout my life, like me trying to fix myself uh, never works out. I need help. People need help. Yeah, I love that, dude. That's bars. Brains heal brains. Yeah. Um, but also just like being open. Like I feel like once your therapist said, you know, you should try AA, and you started to think about it, the universe brought you someone who invited you to a very cool <laughs> AA yeah. meeting. You yeah. know. Because that was your first AA meeting, right? It was. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. And now and you're now you're leading meetings. I did. I did my first lead, which means um, I talked for twelve minutes about my story, kind of, um, which was, and that luckily that was over Zoom because I think in person I'd probably freak out a little more. But even over <laughs> Zoom, I I like blacked out, um, and it was funny because I was talking about how I used to love to black out. And I was like, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Like, I blacked out. They're like, well, that's your thing. You love to black out. <laughs> it's like, true. Um, yeah. No, I'm, I'm in it, and I go to other meetings. I need to go to more uh, different ones. I feel like. Well, I'm excited. We're about to be, you know, traveling uh, next Dude, week. I mean, yeah, we could we could we pop in. Find one in New York. Yeah. I'm down. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for calling in. I, I'm very proud of you for, you know, figuring out what you need to deal with and then dealing that with the help of a therapist and now it's your job to pay it forward yeah <laughs> you don't do anything you just keep yeah <laughs> keep, you keep doing, doing you it. day by day day by day uh and yeah dude i you'd be surprised fucking everyone has social anxiety in colleges that's why that's why everyone drinks so much that's why i drank so much i was like i gotta be around these these cool kids dude i'm not cool enough i'm gonna get drunk and pretend i'm cool didn't never worked out um cool all right, those are the voicemails, I believe, because we got a couple of that more work with Megan. And what else? It's just a lot of exciting things that we can't talk about. You yeah, know? yeah, true. Um, true. But every, hope, yeah. everybody's good. Everybody's good. Yeah, it's great. It's exciting times. And I'm hoping what to do here when Justin Cruz comes over and teaches me how to DJ. I'm hoping to do some sets on Twitch, okay? We'll work out the kinks. Mm. So I want you guys to follow my process we're all gonna grow together in the dj space i guess so i'll do a little twitch but probably tiktok live combo and i you know i'm probably gonna be pretty bad at first but we're gonna get better and hopefully by the time the show comes around 
Are I'll you have be using everything the, figured uh, out. The off white board. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. DDJ one thousand Pioneer. Wow. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> um. Yes. It's a it's a real thing. I just got to figure out how to plug it into the computer for the streams. Uh, I think it would be hilarious. I want to play everything, dude. DJ Random Ryan. Like we already I had people from Twitch. Shout out Kelsey. A lot of throwback bangers, dude. Like Sierra. Usher. Ooh. Like, I'm talking, I want to tap into middle school, high school dance. I had a buddy reach out to me that's in North Carolina. He's like, dude, I got to go to the show. My boy, Jesse. I was like, I need you to see me because for you, I'll play All the Way Turned Up. Remember that song? No. Because shawty, we all the way turn up. Remember that? 2011? Nope. nope. <laughs> well, we used to play, DJ, do you dance? Yes, I hear your song. I'll be popping bottles. Uh, uh. Something like that. You know that? Nope. <laughs> So we would play that like every pregame. Uh, and he says he hears it in the gym sometimes and he cracks up. So I, I had to like play that. Like I just want to play some random ass shit. That's going to be fun too. When you you have like friends in the audience yeah, and you play yeah. songs just for them. Yeah. And everybody's like kind of like, bopping. The but there's this? one guy yeah. who's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're going to be like, what is this song? That like, you don't know, man. 2011. Get the people going. <laughs> oh, that's going to be great. Yeah. It's exciting. All right, guys. Well, listen to Ben Like This. Right. Ben Like This is With G-Pain. It's so good. Pre-order Timeless. Comes out on my birthday, June 14th. Best birthday gift ever. So good. And then tour in the fall. The oh. Timeless tour. Wait, though, dude. What? What happened? What I can forget? We, can we please <laughs> mention the Apple Music playback? Yeah. And the, before yeah. we leave, yeah. we got to just give you one little Daryl story. And then we'll be on our way and we'll let you we'll let you guys have the rest of your day. Here. Okay, one little Daryl story. Megan's doing playbacks. Uh, we went to Apple and I asked everyone in the team, like, are you guys gonna be really embarrassed? I thought it'd be a funny bit if I just wore my Apple Vision Pros the whole time and just pretended like like nothing's going on. And everyone went, You absolutely have to do that. That's great. I meditated that morning and in my meditation, I got real scared. And I was like, This is gonna be stupid. I shouldn't do it. And everyone was like, no, no, no. You wanted to commit to the bit. You got to commit. So I had I, a buddy that works at Apple. He was like, I love that idea for Daryl. He's so got to do it. I was like, all right, fine. Fuck it. I'll commit to the bit. I put them on. And uh, they're really hard, unless you're in travel mode, which I wasn't. They're really hard to walk around because you don't have a 360 view. You don't have your perifs. But I'm seeing everyone look at me, and I don't think they were into it. I don't know. They <laughs> no, looked- no, dude. They- <laughs> They I didn't see it. a lot of smiles. I just Dude, saw no, a lot it of literally, like, it literally broke the ice, bro. It's, okay, good. It's so great for humans to be able to look at one thing and be like, ha ha, we're all in this together. <laughs> ha ha, that guy. <laughs> ha ha, ha ha ha. But so anyway, I, also they're jealous, I kept them on. I kept I'd them on because then I got then I got scared. I was like, okay, I can't take it off now because then yeah. I look like I look like a loser just not committing to the bit. So I commit. We finished the playback. Megan killed it. The songs were great. They liked the songs. Um, and we get up and. Uh, everyone's hugging and saying goodbye and someone you know who you are someone comes up to me and i can't see because i don't have peripherals they come up to me with a full cup of coffee behind my back and say oh goodbye and i just whip my arms like this whoa (laughs) oh goodbye and i smack the coffee out of her hands all over myself all over the floor all over everything and i was very upset um, and then, you know, we grabbed some napkins, we cleaned up. Luckily, Ryan had on a hoodie and he got hot and he let me yeah, yeah. switch it in. But <laughs> after that ordeal, I got pretty warm from laughing. So I go, dude, you got you could take my hoodie. I <laughs> it was tragic, yeah, anyway. dude. All over the fucking rug. Just a giant stain. Just a jester. All over the, I just got him this sweatshirt too. I know. It was a gift. It's all right. We're getting the coffee stains out. <laughs> yeah, you can, but, you can. But yeah. So be careful out there with the Apple Pro Vision goggles. It's tough to walk. Yeah, in whoever public. thinks it's smart to drive in these, no. Don't. There's no way. I would never drive in them, but even just walking around in them, not 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 cool. Not cool. Just avoid hugs and uh, and bumping in another Yeah, people. yeah. Just keep your arms, you know, inside the vehicle at yeah. all times. I think it'd be nice for like a little dog walk. You know? I don't know. You could try. I'll let you borrow them. You can try it if you want, but they're heavy, dude. Really? Yeah. That's why it's hard to like move around because they're so enough. heavy. Anyway, Daryl story out. Fun little Daryl story. Uh, Ryan's story. We because I'm looking at this Rivian bottle. Oh yeah. Me and Daryl got to go to um the Rivian um 
I guess we can call it the R2, R3, R3X event. They showed three cars. Yeah, it was the launch. The launch. And they and it, they, it was only going to be for the R2. And then they're like, and we have some surprises. Right. And when we got there, everyone was jazzed. Yeah. Or as they like to say in the car industry, they were amped. Amped. In the, in the electric <laughs> car industry. Are you guys amped? Because we're amped. There are so many surprises. <laughs> You guys won't even know what these surprises are. And I turn to Ryan and I go, what? is like Post Malone going to be here? Is he going to come out and start saying what's going on? A surprise, Post Malone. <laughs> I don't know. That would be a surprise I got to me. Move probably more cars. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what it was. It's two <laughs> extra cars. Sick cars, though, dude. I'm all for it, dude. Adventure for all. I fucking love it. I'm Adventure so forever. Tapped. Yeah. Adventure forever. Adventure forever and for all. And, oh, right there. <laughs> yeah, and it for says all. Adventure for all. That's but great. But they, yeah, they're. They're just, they want you to get out there and explore with these cars. So they're going to add chargers everywhere. They they make it so you can have a fucking built, there's a built in tent that just goes on top of the car. Also, all the seats go down, even in the front. So I feel like yeah, it's, just a, in there. it's just a house on wheels. Yeah. So sick. Electric. Um, it's electric. Yeah. <clears throat> great, great, great experience, dude. Shout out my buddy Mastin. And shout out Tony. And Big Tone. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. That's, Great. Those were our Daryl Ryan stories for you. Megan is just, she's in she, album mode, dude, from now until. She's working. She's a working mama. And she still puts her kids to bed every night. She's just the best. She's the best. What's really great, though, is like we're, now that Ben like this is out, Riley hears it, and he just starts walking around the house. Ooh-wee, <laughs> she got that booty. Yeah, he loves it. The best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what a guy. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening and watching wherever you get the podcast. Much love. Working on it, fam. Um, catch you next. See you next week. week.